I am back in Tiruvannamalai after spending just 10 days in the United States. <clears throat> I shouldn't say that I chose to come here. I was again attracted by this mountain, this mountain of fire, the mountain of attention. This mountain which is Kailash, which is the word of Lord Shiva. And I feel incredibly, incredibly joyous being here. And I have no doubt in my mind that this is the place for enlightenment. This is the place for karma removal. And of late I was told that it is also the place where you can practice Sri Mrizi. And uh, how stream can create and how Brazil can give the power of the three gods, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, the Trinity. <clears throat> and that's not my intention to talk about it because if I get into that, it will be a long talk, which I don't want to do now at this uh, very sacred time, 3.30 or so in the morning. And I just opened the door just to let the air come in. So what I'm going to share with you now is very, very important. Now, uh, there are many approaches to contact the divine or experience the divine. <laughs> One is through yoga, not simply the physical yoga, but uh, the meditation part of the yoga, which is called Raja Yoga. There you get into Samadhi, which is uh, uh, altered states of consciousness. <clears throat> and through that consciousness, you attain. And then there is an inquiry yoga, which is called jnana yoga, where through reasoning you get to a level of understanding who you are, like Raman Maharshi who came here uh, to the mountain. He, he practiced jnana yoga. And then he ended was asking the question, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And then the, kept on asking until you found out that he was Brahman, he was God. But it is still confusing because he had a very painful death and uh, which he reacted to the pain like anybody else. So I'm not going to even talk about that because I have talked about it elsewhere too. So what I'm going to talk about is, what am I going to do in the future in terms of teaching? And that's, I'm going to share with you uh, what is happening to me and uh, in terms of understanding how to get closer to the divine and how to make your life uh, useful while you are on this plane. It's a great plane to be on. But then the most of the time <clears throat> on this plane, we just while away the time in fun and uh, pleasure of the senses. That's silly. And then one day you leave the plane just to come back. Because after that, you know, there's a part of you that realizes the goodness of the plane. But then why don't you come here and then you get lost in the, in the senses, in maya and in karma. At least, the least that can be done is to be here. In the precincts of the mountain, to look at the mountain and to breathe the air that passes 
over the mountain and into your nostrils and uh, there are very many teachings of how to stop breathing and one only when you stop the nostril breathing and then some uh, breathing some other breathing takes over which is called the soul breathing or like i call it the mid mid brain breathing or cranial breathing some people call it the breathing of the heart and uh, then forward there won't be any illness there won't be any uh, pain in life then you have access to everything that <clears throat> can give you oh, 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 enlightenment now Rosie